No, uh uh. It's almost time to go. Are you finished? Go back over your answers. My neighbor has a catering business. When people have parties at their homes, remember what I told you about T H E I R? It has to show ownership. In this case, it does. It's showing ownership to homes. It's talking about a person's home. So it's written correctly. That's right. With which number? Eight. Nobody has ever heard her say anything complimentary to anyone. So, that's a spelling error. So, how do you think you would spell complimentary? D. D almost complimentary. Oh, see, because I got the A. Well, let me check. I'm just guessing. Don't guess. Listen to how I pronounced it. Complimentary. Oh, see, it goes A, because it got the A right there. Very good. I caught it. Damn, they. You need to go over your answers. Okay, so you need to continue working. Mm -hmm. Tris independent. Complimentary. C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T-O-R. D. Complimentary. Oh. I think it's an A. Sit down. A. Mm -hmm. A. Good. Wait, I think my mom has one. <laughs> yes. Just go over your answers. Okay, and we're going to wrap it up. Okay, Emily, are you finished? You need to finish, Emily. Okay, make sure you, that you review your answers. Yes. Then her and the customer decide on a menu. Then her and the customer. Then, then her and the customer decide on a menu. Alright, so which one do you think it is? Then her and the customer decide on a menu. You think so? <laughs> What's another way that you can refer to her? No. I is talking about yourself. She. she. Alright? So, then she and the customer decide on a menu. Be like I said. Hmm? Then, comma, she and the customer decide on the menu. Uh -huh. That one was tricky. Okay, go over your answers.
Number one, D. Thank you.